and welcome back to another video guys today we are learning everything or not everything but the most common uh, short keyboard shortcuts you need to know to use the nano text editor so what is nano? nano is basically a very straightforward easy to use text editor that allows you to edit files on the fly for me nano is more easier to use than vim and that's why I use it all the time when editing files or or just changing something and it's my default git editor I find it more difficult to use Wim and that's why I decided to stick with Nano so the first thing we are going to do is just to open the Nano text editor and for that I want to go inside not my OBS but my terminal and here I am inside the nano folder and to open the terminal, by the way I'm going to have the notes down in the description down below and what I want to do is just to type in nano to open the nano text editor and here we have the text editor opened here we have some basic explanations of keyboard shortcuts that we have I'm not going to cover all of them because mostly I don't use most of them and now I want to type in some text like subscribe and then uh, if we if I like to save this text in a file what we need to do is use this keyboard shortcut which is just control plus not zero but O so let's do control O and then we get this uh, option to write the name of the file we want to save this text in so let it be something like file.txt then what I want to do is press enter and then we have successfully saved this subscribe text inside the file.txt file here we have the current file that we are in opened inside nano so the next thing is of course you need to know how to exit the file to and to go back in the terminal we do that by just doing a control x and there we go we're back in our, our terminal we can do as this is our file that we've created and if we do cat file.txt you can see the contents is subscribe so other thing I want to mention is you can open files and you can open files and also create files just by doing nano and file typing the basically the name of the file plus the extension so if this file was not created before we would have op created it and opened it if I now click enter then we 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 opened the file so if I now edit something like typing bike and then try to exit by doing control X the nano text editor will ask me if I want to save this modification I've done and answer no will destroy my changes I made and my changes are just adding this text just wanted to mention here so you aren't confused why is, why is this here or something like that so if you want to save these changes and I do you just type you just uh, press Y and then again you have the option to change the name of the file so if you for example want another file or I'm not sure if it creates another file or it's the same one so let's let's change it to file 2 press enter and you get again the same file under different name and you type in yes and now 
you can see we have two files. In the first one we have only this file, the txt. In the second one we have subscribe and like. So we created another file. If we change the name, it creates another file. That's actually the this point. And I already covered this one. So let's go inside the fifth thing I need to mention, <coughs> which is calling text. And if I open the file and let's say I add in another row of text, what I can do is I can cut this text just by doing control key. I usually do this to actually just delete the row and not so much to cut text and if I do that command it will cut the text and now I can paste and I can paste the text just by doing control U so if I do control U now you can see I successfully pasted this text I previously cut so another thing uh, I want to mention is there's a lot of cases where you would like to go you have this all these long rows of text and you want to go to the end and you probably don't want to do this where, where you go one character at a time because it's so slow and what you can do is go to the end of the line just by doing a control E and that's this command here that allows it to go to the end of the row also if you want to go to the beginning to the first character of in the row or a line you you need to do control A and that's these are basically the most common commands I use on whenever I use the nano text editor. So thank you so much for watching and peace out. Oh and don't forget to subscribe.